Cat Kid Comic Club on Purpose by Dave Pilkey. Cat Kid is copyright by Dave Pilkey. And it's published by Graphics, an imprint of Scholastic Inc. Last time in the comic club. Daddy! Did the publisher write back yet? No. How about now? No. How about now? No. How about now? No. Dang it. How about now? No. Ah! Ah! Why are we screaming? I thought I saw an ugly monster, but it was just your angry face. I'm gonna make a million dollars. Me too. If you make a million dollars, you're going to college. Don't you go to college to get an education so that you can get a really good job to make a lot of money? I'm just skipping the middle, man. Everyone's going to bed now. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Daddy. What? Good night. You said that already. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good, good night. night. Good night! Good night! Stop it! Stop it! What's wrong, Naomi? I want to be rich and famous. Like the Kardashians. No, you don't. Then maybe like Dave Pilkey? Who? Listen, Naomi. You need to figure out what your purpose is. Oh, my purpose is to be rich. Hey, everybody. It's me. Naomi wants to share her published comic. Yeah, sure. Go for it, big guy. Sniff my armpit while I read. <laughs> the end. Wow. That was terrible. Melvin, that was not terrible. I've got to write where I want them. Well, that was a waste of everyone's time. Well, we've got a big surprise coming. But we're not going to tell you. We're going to play Kirby again. That's not the surprise. Can I be a green Kirby? Yeah, whatever. Let me try to suck in a power. <gasps> Did it work? No. There can only be one Kirby here. I think I just had a revelation. I have to poop. Chapter four, Naomi's revelation. I used to think that only some people could draw and the rest of us were out of luck. But then I realized I can write my name. So what? We can all do that. But are you writing your names? Or are you drawing your names? Every letter and number you can think of is just a bunch of lines, dots, circles, and curves. Every drawing is the same too. They're all just a bunch of lines, dots, circles, and curves. The only reason we can draw our names is because we've practiced. I'll show you. Let's all draw a werewolf. But I can't draw. Me neither. Can you draw letters and numbers? Yeah. Doy. Then draw a big letter O like this. Now draw a big letter M on top. Add two periods and a little baby O underneath. Now make a big capital D, but make it sideways and put two little upside down U's right here. Now color in the capital D except for the U parts. Wow. Hey, we're drawing. We rule. The arms and legs are easy. You just draw a sideways C and then draw another one right next to it. Hey, this is easy. Yeah. But what about hands? Yeah, hands are hard. No, they're not. Just draw a baby C. Then draw one, two, three more. The feet are even easier. Just draw a sideways J. Cool! Now the tail seems hard, but it's just a curved V with the W at the end. And for fur, just draw a bunch of little baby lines. Hey, my werewolf is naked. Daddy, Naomi's making me draw full frontal nudity. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Who can tell me the lesson you just learned? I just learned something, Daddy. What is it, Starla? Well, I didn't think I could draw. But look, I can totally draw. I just hadn't practiced. I'll bet if I practice a whole bunch, I'll be able to do anything. Yeah, maybe.
makes sense to me. And so, Naomi. Yes, Daddy? You did a very good job teaching everyone today. Thanks. I've been trying to teach you kids that lesson all year, and you taught it to everyone in just a few minutes. Maybe you found your purpose. Maybe you're going to be a teacher. Do teachers make a lot of money? Well, not usually, but Pass. they... Pass! <laughs> Chapter 5! She writes back! The next day... All right, kids. Sarah is going to be here soon. So remember, I want you kids to be on your best behavior. Yeah, we know. And I don't want you calling her Sarah. Why not? It's disrespectful. Your kids. She's an adult. You should call her Miss Hatoff. Miss Hatoff! And I want you to remember- Yoga mail! Oh, she's here. Okay, everyone stay in your seats. I'm going to meet her at the camper. Can we come? She's our friend too, you know. Okay, let's go. And don't forget, best behavior. Man, this hasn't even started yet. And I'm already bored. And so... <sighs> but then... You're gonna mail you! Hey! Daddy forgot his phone! Melvin, we're supposed to stay in our seats! I'm telling! Daddy got a message! It might be important! She wrote back! She wrote back! The publisher lady finally wrote back! Let me see! Let me see! You guys aren't supposed to play with Daddy's phone! We're not playing! This is business! Look! She wrote my name! Melvin T. Frog! She wrote my name too! Naomi T. Great! That's not your real name! It is now! Oh! She says your book is humorous. And cute. However, your intended message might be misunderstood by some readers. The idea that everyone is the same fails to take into account how people are treated differently in this world. Global saneness fails to recognize that everybody isn't always given the same opportunities or chances in life. Furthermore, some lines of the story are you just poke your nose beneath your clothes while seeing the same side. Could be seen as making controversy the same as a bunch of just Just skip to the end! No! I'm reading! You read too slow! Give it to me! No! Get Let it! go! Let uh. go! Huh? Uh. <gasps> oh, oh! You're in trouble! Busted! It's not broken! The screen's just cracked a little! Don't worry, when your book gets published, we'll buy Danny a new phone. It's not gonna get published. She rejected it. <laughs> what? She can't do that. I'll sue! She said it was offensive. No, it's not. It's all about equality. <laughs> hey, that was original art. Well, now it's a puzzle. Why did you do that? Because I quit! I quit you, and I quit this stupid club! Wait, does this mean we're not getting our ice cream machine? No! And you're not going to college either! I was supposed to pay for that too, apparently! No ice cream? But I love ice cream! It's all I ever wanted! Meanwhile! We're so happy you're here, Sarah. Thanks, Flippy. I'm excited to meet the comic club. Well, I think you'll be delighted by my kids. They're so creative, so mature, and always on their best behavior. Chapter 6, Our Worst Behavior. <laughs> what on earth is going on? Naoma said we can't have an ice cream machine. And we have to go to college. No, we can't go to college. Oh, and we can't go to college. <laughs> <laughs> so then Melvin and Naomi got into a fight and they broke your phone. 
I told them not to, and now they're embroiled in a bitter breach of contract dispute. I swear, I was just gone for five minutes. Flippy, this is awesome! <laughs> Wait, what? I thought this was just gonna be a cute little story. Just two minutes of feel-good fluff. But this story has passion, drama, rage, uh, rebellion, uh, controversy, and raw, uninhibited creativity. This could be the story of the year. Uh, um. Clear my entire schedule, Roscoe. Okay, Sarah. We're gonna do be. We're gonna do. We're gonna. We're gonna do some in-depth reporting. Got it. And get ready, kids, because you're all gonna be famous. <laughs> it started out as a good day, and it has slowly become the worst day ever in the comic club. But Sarah Hatoff is eating this up like a typical news outlet. Will her in-depth report bring out a positive outcome for Naomi and the comic club? We'll just have to find out on the next episode of... Cat Kid Comic Club! Oh, don't take it so hard, Naomi. I've never gotten anything published either. Although if I tried to publish a book, I'd probably be thrown in a loony bin. Well, I hope you're enjoying this series. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If so, then leave this video a like. If you want to get the Cat Kid Comic Club on purpose for yourself, click the link down in the description below. It's a link. It'll take you straight to it where you can order it yourself. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you do, because I'd like to see you again with the next video. It's going to be coming soon. Okay, got to go now. Bye. Love you. Bye.